In this guide, I'll show you how to set up Media Center Master to download movies and TV shows using uTorrent and how to integrate Media Center Master with the uTorrent enhanced features. So, first of all, I'm going to show you what my directories look like. I don't have anything in this demo. I've got uh, some download folders that I've set up in advance. This will be for the download parser. I'm not actually going to get into the download parser in this video, but we'll use it in others. This will be where uTorrent it will be downloading some of its content. And then for Media Center Master, I've got two scan folders. I've got movies and I've got TV. As you can tell, I don't have anything in here at all. It's just a purely a blank state. So, first of all, let's set up uTorrent. I'm going to assume that you've set up uTorrent already with some of the settings, such as how much bandwidth you want it to use, connection preferences, most of that you can use right out of the box. You don't have to make any adjustments whatsoever. Some things I am going to change though. I'm going to change where uTorrent stores its files temporarily. So, let's do that now. Let's put new downloads in here. I'm going to copy that to there. And when it's done, Let's move it from here to there. Now something uTorrent has done in recent versions, I'm not sure exactly why they're doing this, but once a download completes, they mark it as read-only. Media Center Master can compensate for that, but we can also change a setting right here that, uh, that stops media, uh, uTorrent from doing that. Excuse me. It says do not modify in this advanced list, but we're going to modify it anyway. So I'm just going to filter this to read-only, there it is. Let's change that to false. We don't want files and folders to be read-only once uTorrent finishes them. Okay, another thing we want to do is enable the web UI. The web UI is right here. We're going to turn it on. I'm going to set a arbitrary username and password to Media Center Master. Media Center Master, just for this purpose of, of the demo. And we can just put this as anything we want. I'm going to put it as 999. And I don't have any external access. You may want to set up uh, some kind of security if you do. And that's it. I'm not going to change download directories here. So once I've set up the web UI on this screen, there is an advanced option that we want to turn on. So let's go to advanced. Let's filter this to web UI. And we're going to change token auth to false. That's it. Now that we have that set up, we'll go into Media Center Master and kind of mirror those settings. Now I've already done some of the settings in Media Center Master the way I like them. I'm going to very briefly go over a couple of those. Uh, the downloader, I've made sure that we can actually download new movies, TV shows, and so forth. I've changed quality options. You pretty much can set these however you like. I'm going to go into Usenet. I have it completely disabled. I'm only demoing torrents in this particular video. So under torrents, I've got everything turned on here under my sources. I've got uh, torrents in general enabled and automatically started. If you have it automatically started, you don't need to set paths to where torrent files are going to be stored. Um, some reasons why you might want to use that or if you're using uTorrent on another system and you want to store files over the network, perhaps to a system that maybe isn't run by Windows, uh, you know, Mac, Linux, anything like that, Raspberry Pi. So um, I am going to run uTorrent on the same box in this example, so I'm going to let it uh, auto start, and that lets me use magnet links as well. Um, you know, if you're not starting it from the same machine, you can't use the magnet links, and it'll tell you about that. Yes, we'll turn it on. There we go. Um, I particularly like to enable this option. It's off by default. Archived files don't bother me so much. Media Center Master does a pretty good job of picking out bad torrents from good torrents. Um, you know, that's my biased opinion, but if you don't like that, you can turn it off. Okay, now, uTorrent. Let's make some magic happen right here. We're going to turn on the uTorrent integration features, but I'm going to set these, uh, these up down here first. So I chose MCM and MCM. I chose 
999 is my port, I believe. Let's double check that. Yeah, I did. And the password was MCM. I'm sorry, this is actually the host name, which in our example is just the computer I'm on right now. You can type localhost, uh, you can type any IP, however you want. Uh, again, if this is uTorrent on a different machine, on a remote host, then you're probably going to want to use the IP of that machine, otherwise it won't work. Okay. So now that that's all set up here, I am going to go ahead and turn on integration features, and I'll automatically remove anything that's finished. I'm a bad person. I don't see it in this particular demo. Okay. Now I'm going to go into the download parser. This will be the last configuration we should need to change in this demo. Um, as you can see, I've already turned on some of the options here that aren't on by default. Um, I'm going to parse invalid, it says episode downloads, but it's really movie and episode downloads here. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm not actually going to download any data with this demo. I don't want to, uh, how should I put it, download anything that may be uh, incriminating illegal activity. So um, if you are downloading in movies, you're doing so, um, you know, of your own volition, and I'm just showing you how to get VD Center Master to do it for you. So anyway, I have that set up the way I want it. I've got new movie downloads going into Media Movies, which as uh, you saw before, is empty right now. Okay. And um, I've already entered in the path for download parser right there, which is the same path that we're using in uTorrent under directories. For when it completes a download, it's going to move it there. And because we have that advanced option turned off, it's not going to mark it as read only, which is a nice feature. Now, if you forget to do that or if you don't want to do that, there is an option right here that will attempt to uh, remove those read only properties. Uh, Meteor Center Master may need to be run as administrator, or you may need to uh, disable UAC, uh, user account control, depending on you know the particular access that whoever you're running Media Center Master has um, has permission to do. So, okay, so I'm done there, and we're ready to get going. We're going to save that, and let's try to download a new movie. I'm going to do it manually search for a specific movie and uh, let's see let's pick something uh, recent let's do Wreck-It Ralph it's a great movie I highly advise you buy yourself a copy so um, you can leave this blank it'll be guessed most popular result will be picked first it's typically what I do you can change this to a number of different options Here we go, it's going to go out and look for downloads for that movie. I know that uh, Kick-Ass Torrents is, is currently offline. I'm kind of confused why we didn't find any results here. It might be that hyphen. It might be that hyphen. Let's try that again. Yeah, it was the hyphen. Okay, so you notice that it found a uh, torrent, it downloaded it, and it automatically launched it. Over here, we can see that it's not downloading. That's because I turned off downloads right here. Don't start the download automatically. I'm not going to be downloading or uploading any media in this demo, but you can see that it is in the list. And if I use the uTorrent Download Manager, you can see that Media Center Master recognizes it there as well. And I have options to start it, remove it, and so forth. That's it. Once Media, I'm sorry, once uTorrent finishes that download, it will automatically be removed by Media Center Master. It will recognize that it's finished. It'll be removed uTorrent will move it into the download parser folder and it will be up to Media Center Master at that point to
parse that download, which is handled by the download parser options here that we've already looked at. Uh, it'll automatically rename, move, and find them, and so forth. So I'm going to pretend that uTorrent has already done this for me. And I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to create a new folder. What's it going to say? Wreck it. Ralph. Media Center Master will be perfectly happy with a zero byte file here as long as we set up the folder. As long as we set up that folder right there. Okay. Now, the download parser will run on an interval. I've actually got it set not to run, which is hardly to say at 15 days. Not to run very often. Um, so it's actually not going to run automatically for me in this demo. So I'll do it manually. Process new downloads. It sees the new download. It's starting to parse it. It found one for us. Found a result for us. It thinks it's a movie, which is correct. It's going to start moving it to media movies. And it knows to move it there because in my download parser screen, I told it to move all movies right to there, right to that directory. It looks like there was an issue downloading the YouTube video. Sometimes we get error 403 access denied. And that's something I'm looking into. Usually it works. But in this particular case, it skipped the YouTube download, found one at iTunes, and it's downloading. I have a download limit set. I'm going to increase it. I can see it's in the list right there. I'm going to cancel that just to make this video a little bit shorter. And that's it. If I refresh, I see Wreck-It Ralph right there. If I go to my list of uh, my directory list here, I will see that it's in here. Obviously, there's no quality uh, um, quality detection available. Can't inspect the video because the video is a zero byte file that I threw in there. And that's my aborted trailer. I'll just delete that. So there you go. That's how to integrate Media Center Master with uTorrent. That's a brief overview of the download parser and uh, how to get torrents going. Hope you enjoy the video. It's the first one I've done for Media Center Master. And uh, that's it.